Hey ladies, I'm gonna answer an age old question about what to do. Do you do bronzer, blush, or both? Have you always wondered? Because I have. Now we've got highlighting, contouring, and we've got bronzer and blush, and you kinda just end up not knowing what to put on your face and definitely don't know where to put it, or are you supposed to put it all on there? So I have got our unique products. You can do this obviously with any blush or bronzer. These are just little tips for you guys. Bronzer, we are going to use anywhere the sun would hit. This is going to be great for outdoor activities, a little less formal look than blush, um, music concerts, a day at the beach. If you want to just make it look a little bit like you've been in the sun, I'm going to use a angled brush here to make it where I don't get as heavy handed with it. And I'm also going to use the matte side, but you're going to just hit this anywhere the sun would hit you. So on your forehead, then, and this is just, again, going to give some definition to your face, a little bit of a sun kiss glow. It's going to hit on your nose. You know, it always gets you on the tops of those cheeks right here. So you're going to just get a little bit on that part and then you got it on your nose and then you can just kind of blend it in again right here and then you got it on your nose and again you can use matte or shimmer it just depends on what you're going for the matte side actually works really cool too to come here and do a little bit more of contouring I've already used um, some contour on my face today so I'm not going to do a heavier contour because I'm just sitting around the house. So that is an awesome little tool. Just again, hit it where the sun would hit you naturally. For blush, I'm using the color Sweet. I like a lighter blush. This is something you're going to use for more formal events, any indoor events like a wedding, um, you know, something that you're really dressed up, any kind of photography, again, stage makeup. They're going to want you to have on blush. And our blush is super pigmented, so I just do like a light tap, and that's more than enough. You're going to start two fingers over, and then kind of work that just along the apples of your cheeks here. And then again, don't be scared. Use your fingers as your guide. You want most of your product to be here, and then to trail off. And that's just going to give you a nice little round um, cheek here. And again, color here and blend up. Okay, so you've got that. And then if you have been highlighting contouring, you're going to do something called what they call it the Neapolitan because you're going to have highlight and then your blush and then your contour. So it's kind of like vanilla strawberry chocolate but it does a really cool finish to your face and gives you a lot of definition. So another cool thing about this, especially when you're traveling, you can actually use these as eyeshadow. So this side I've got my high or my bronzer and this side I have my blush as eyeshadow. These are great guys. You can pick if you want it to be matte or if you want to add the shimmer, with the bronzer or you can just go with the blush and I really really like the blush I know it people are like what you use blush as an eyeshadow it's really pretty especially if you get a little shimmer going on up here find you a color to put in the middle if you want to do a purple a black do a smoky eye you can do it and use this as kind of your base to start blending everything from it's really pretty and the bronzer is great for if you just want to pack this some BB cream roll out to the beach you've got some highlight with the shimmer you can contour a little bit just give a sun kiss glow sun kiss glow and then also use this for a little bit of eye color and you can even rub it on your lips for a little bit of color there too so thanks ladies and i hope that clears up some of the confusion as far as what to do with brush brush you know what to do with brushes with blush or bronzer thank you